Hello there everybody and welcome back to Tree of Tranquility. It is now the ninth day of winter. In our last video, I was very, very fortunate, unbelievably lucky, and I managed to catch our woodfish. So currently I'm only missing one ingredient for Alan's rainbow. Now I had said that we had every ingredient necessary for the rainbow in the last video, but I was actually a little bit confused. I thought that we needed the green herb for his rainbow for our green ingredient. But if we scroll down to the story tab and look at his rainbow recipe, you'll see here that it's actually something called a green bell. And I was so confused, I couldn't figure out what this green bell item is. And the green bell is a flower. And funnily enough, I planted these and completely forgot about them. We had bought the seeds at the Harvest Festival in fall. They're a flower that you can only grow in winter, so it's perfect timing. We'll be able to get that before the end of the year. But alternatively, you can also buy them from Toucan Island. So as soon as we get that flower blooming, we'll be able to make our next rainbow. And I have a couple of other things to talk about for the update. Unfortunately, we cannot go to Toucan Island today because it is a Monday, and Monday is the only day of the week that On the Hook is closed. So you can see here I've planted my buckwheat because the flowers I had put here at the beginning of the month have all grown in. Uh, this row here is actually where our green herb flowers are, or green bell flowers. I'm gonna say green herb mistakenly. I just can't get that out of my head. But yes, these are the green bell flowers. They should be coming in uh, within a, the next couple of days. I have some anemone flowers growing here. The last few, I did uh, harvest a few. And I've also got the rest of my snowflake flowers that I can harvest. So I've pretty much at this point gone through all of the flowers that this season has to offer. I had also grown the yellow herbs and I saved all of those so that I can um, dye my wool and give them away as gifts and whatnot. So I might go pick up some more flowers. It just kind of adds a nice little splash of color to everything in the background since it's all sort of faded out in white in the winter season. It gives me something to do. But Ruth is also closed on Monday, so if I'm gonna do that, I'll have to wait until tomorrow. I still have a few backup uh, buckwheat seeds for when mine come in. There, there. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed my animals here. Their hearts are working up slowly but surely. I'm starting to get perfect and good eggs almost consistently now. And I've gotten a few good quality cocoons from my silkworm as well. So I've been keeping what I need for my rucksack upgrades and selling the rest. I guess I should make mayonnaise before I leave, before I forget. Because that's still more profitable than keeping the actual egg. And hopefully we can get some more animals soon. I think it's about time to expand a bit further. I know I'm not the most uh, speediest person when it comes to making uh, changes and adding on to the farm and whatnot. We haven't got a new animal in quite some time, so we'll think about that. But again, Brownie Ranch is also closed on Mondays. <laughs> so not really a lot that we can do in terms of going to stores today if those were the stores we were planning on visiting. As you can see up here, I've managed to plant a few more trees. I think I have a total of nine. And I've been trying my best to keep the weeds out of the remainder of the field. I've gone ahead and fertilized the areas where the trees are. Hopefully that'll help with the quality, although I'm not sure. 
Um, I could probably maybe plant another one or two trees in these little areas here, but I might leave that little bit of space just to make sure that everything has enough room to grow. And hopefully we'll start seeing those at the end of the month or when spring comes. Now, Dale's is open today because he is closed on Saturdays, from what I remember. And I would like to look at getting another house upgrade. So we can go and visit him and see what that's going to cost us. I think I have a fair amount of lumber and stone. I got quite a bit when I cleared the path to the Harvest Goddess spring on the mountain. So let's see at what this is going to cost us. should also be mentioned that an upgrade of your coop or your barn really isn't that much if you wanted to make these bigger, but I mean at this point we really don't need to make it bigger. We don't have enough animals to make it worth it. And even this really honestly isn't that bad. $9,000 and 32 stone and 36 lumber. Well, I have all the materials I need. So why not? Let's go ahead and give ourselves a bigger house. We'll have more space. And I'm not sure if it's level four or level five where we get an upstairs. But in any case, I suppose we will see shortly. That'll be ready in two days time. So I think I'll go to the mountain and maybe scavenge up there. I haven't been back to the mountain after I caught the woodfish, so there might be some shining bamboo laying around or some other things that I can sort of pick up here. During the time I've been playing, I haven't really been doing much. I've been mining, which I'm trying to do off screen uh, more and more because I know that's kind of boring to watch and I've done a lot of that on stream for those of you who have caught me um, streaming this game. But that's kind of where a lot of my money has come in. I've got really, really high quality tools at this point so I can literally spend all day in the mine and it's absolutely no problem. I managed to find a couple of gold bars to replace the ones that I had accidentally shipped the one time, which was so stupid. I can't believe I did that. So I'll just have to keep mining until I can afford to upgrade some more of my tools. I think I'm still a few gold bars short. You can see here that the cones have been put up and we're going to be able to see our upgrade sometime soon. I'm going to do another update soon um, because on the 15th we're going to have another villager come to town. And so I will most definitely have to update everybody then. But honestly, I really have not been doing much. I've just been tending to my fields and waiting for that last ingredient for Alan's rainbow to come in. So I probably have about another week of playing before I will be coming back for another update. I'll probably at that point do another shopping type of episode where we can go and maybe pick up another animal. The house will be upgraded by then so we can see what that looks like. And hopefully we'll be able to make another one of our rainbow soon. I don't really think that I'm missing anything else that I wanted to sort of update on. You can see that I've been trying to make a little bit more time to talk to people and make friends. Most of the bachelors, I think with the exception of Chase, have one heart. So I'm on my way to getting their two heart events. And I'm going to start trying to give out more and more gifts so that we can get married in year two. Slowly but surely working on my hearts with my animals. We, this would probably go up a lot faster if I took the time to brush my sheep every day and if I hand fed them every single day. I don't, so 
I'm kind of suffering with that, I guess. I could probably be getting more high quality stuff if I did that. But so far, so good. Everyone is happy and healthy, and for the most part, I can't complain. I have been getting really decent quality stuff that has been helping with the monetary situation. You can see here that I managed to find three gold bars, so I can use that to upgrade probably my axe next, and then definitely the fishing rod, and then it's either going to have to be the sickle or the hoe after that. And then we won't have to worry about tool upgrades anymore. That'll be it. We'll be done with that, and that'll be another thing that's been sort of knocked off of the list. I'm keeping the cocoons and the wool for now because I'm not sure if I need these for a rucksack upgrade. I'm pretty sure I need either good wool or, or a good cocoon, so I'm holding on to those. I'll eventually put them in the yarn maker and make them into yarn and then I'll either sell them or keep them. So a bit of a boring update, I'm sorry I didn't really have much to say. If it wasn't a Monday we could have maybe checked out some stores, maybe went to Toucan Island, but that'll all come in the future. We'll definitely do some more exciting stuff probably within the next couple of up updates. And for those of you who are still here watching the end of this video, I'm going to start putting the poll for who you want me to marry in the description for you guys to vote on. So I'll try and put the poll in every single video description for maybe five or six or seven videos. I'll tally up the votes and then that will determine who it is that I can marry. I know we're missing one candidate for each. We are missing a female candidate and we are missing a male candidate, but they will be coming to the island very shortly. And for those of you who have played this game or have played Animal Parade or watched me play Animal Parade, you'll know who those people are. We are missing Phoebe. She should be the next one coming to the island. And we are missing Julius as our last male bachelor. But other than that, currently as it stands on our file, we have most of them that we can choose from. So just as a refresher here, as a girl, we can marry Luke. Owen, Jin, Toby, Gil, Calvin, Chase, who's all the way at the bottom, and then finally, Julius. I may or may not have to remove Calvin from the roster simply because there is a huge glitch that I am probably going to encounter with him that will make it so that I cannot marry him. There's not really a way around it to my knowledge. So he may or may not be on the list. If you don't see him on there, that's why. And now that I've explained that, and that's all said and done, that's pretty much all I had for this video. So hopefully next time we'll have a bit more of an exciting update. I can't wait to see how you guys are gonna vote and how that goes from now forward. Thank you all so very much for watching and I hope that I will see you next time.